What's the best video editing software for Mac right now? Well, this is our 2022 review of all the leading video editors for Mac. And as usual with these roundups, which are now pretty much an annual thing, after a lot of research and a ton of testing in this video, I'm gonna share my top recommendations for all types of video creators, from free and beginner friendly apps and programs up to the more advanced and professional editing options as well. And just like last time, I'm gonna break this overview down into three pricing categories. The first one is all the free options. The second one is everything under $200, including the free options. And the third category is software priced above $200. Now for this one, I'm also gonna include the software that is under $200 and free as well. So you can leave here knowing if you're going to purchase video editing software, how does the paid stuff and the more professional stuff stack up to what you can get at a lower price point or even free. So you're leaving here with the best possible option for you. So make sure you stick around to hear out all the options because if you are someone that's looking to start out in one of the lower brackets, you'll know exactly what you can be unlocking if you do jump into the higher categories too. And really quickly, I want you to remember that there really is no perfect video editing software. It's gonna come down to you, your skill set, what's gonna be easiest for you to edit your videos down, and what types of videos you're actually making. So the best play here is once you've got your shortlist, pick a couple of them and go and download the trial versions, dive in, have a play, and see how they work for you. Because at the end of the day, there's a lot of overlap, and they're all just tools to edit videos. Now, once we're done with my recommendations, we're gonna wrap up with three quick video editing tips that you can use to level up and speed up your editing in any application. Okay, so first up, free software. Now, typically what you would find with free video editing software is that there's a bunch of restrictions or watermarks or it's not really free or they're not really that good. But don't worry, anything that I'm gonna mention in here does not include a watermark and is gonna be a full featured video editor for you. So in this category, you've got things like iMovie, Shotcut, HitFilm Express, DaVinci Resolve, Lightworks, Avid Media Composer First, VN Video Editor, OpenShot, and VideoPad. So from all of the trying, testing, researching to shortlist those down, my top picks go to iMovie, VN Video Editor, and DaVinci Resolve. iMovie is probably the most popular editing software on Mac because of the price tag of being free and because it comes installed on your computer. And that's not to say that it's bad in any way. It is actually a really good option for someone who is an absolute beginner or someone looking to do simple edits fast and easily. The overall interface is really intuitive, it's simple, it's easy to find stuff, and you've got a lot of basic transition and effects and everything included in there as well. Now iMovie is really the cut down version of the bigger brother video editing app Final Cut on Mac, but the two of them do share a lot of similarities. So if you are looking for something with a clear upgrade path to something more professional, then iMovie could be a great option. Moving into Final Cut, yeah, it's gonna be a bit more overwhelming, but you will feel somewhat at home coming from iMovie, or at least you won't feel like you're starting again from scratch. Next up is VN Video Editor. This is one of my personal favorites. I think these guys are really pushing the editing space with their approach. So this one originally started as an iOS and Android app, and they've really just remade it again, so it will work on desktop as well. But what I really like is they've brought that approach from editing on a smaller device over onto your computer, meaning that you don't need to dive into menus upon menus to find stuff. It's all a really intuitive, really easy to use interface, and you've literally just got buttons across the bottom for all the stuff that you're going to use most. This makes it so fast to edit, and it's a totally different approach to how most video editing software approach editing. There's a ton of built-in effects and transitions, and I really like the level of control you get over adjusting the colors and the look and feel of your video. But overall, probably the biggest standout thing for me is how fast and how powerful this app is. I've literally given it some crazy professional footage and it's just cut it like butter. And then building on from that craziness is DaVinci Resolve. This is hands down the most professional video editing software on Mac for free. It is absolutely ridiculous what they are giving you access to for nothing. This is literally professional video editing software that people use to create Hollywood movies and that kind of stuff. So in terms of the tools and features and stuff in here, these are literally professional grade tools. You're gonna have so much control over everything to really be able to dial in your edit at a frame by frame level but also there's dedicated areas in the software for audio creation and audio control, for motion graphics and animation, and even a specific area just for color grading and color correcting. And that's really where DaVinci Resolve got its name, is as a finishing application for movies and things where people would come in and color grade their videos. Now, given that it is a professional tool, the overall interface and everything is not gonna be as easy to use as iMovie or as VN Video Editor. If you are someone who is an absolute beginner, there is going to be a learning curve for you 
We've got tutorials for a lot of the software that we're mentioning in here, showing you how to edit in those applications. So those will be linked in the description below. One really important thing to know though, if you are using an older computer or it's not a very powerful computer, DaVinci Resolve probably isn't going to work too well for you. It is something that is CPU and GPU intensive. So you will wanna have a decent computer to have it running really, really well. So to round out this category, if you're someone who's just after something basic, something that's gonna work quick, something that you don't need all the bells and whistles, then iMovie or VN Video Editor would be the pick for you. VN's gonna be a great all-rounder, even if you are someone who is more at that intermediate to advanced level because of the extra controls that you have in there. But if you are someone who's looking for the most professional toolkit and really looking for pro-grade software, then that's where you can't go past DaVinci Resolve. So for me, my personal winner in this category, it is gonna to go to DaVinci Resolve, just how it did last year. It is ridiculous that they're giving you access to pro-grade tools for free. So the next category then is the sub $200 category. All video editing software under $200 including the free stuff as well. Now, normally what you find when you start to pay for editing software is that you're unlocking all features of that software. So less restrictions, more features, and generally more performance and an overall better editing experience because VN Video Editor and DaVinci Resolve that I mentioned in the previous category, they kind of give you that for free anyway, but that's not most editing software. So in this category of sub $200, you've got things like Filmora and Filmora Pro, Adobe Premiere Rush, Mov AVI, Wii Video, ScreenFlow, Adobe Premiere Elements, Lightworks Pro, and PowerDirector. So my shortlist for this category then comes down to Wii Video, Filmora, VN Video Editor, and DaVinci Resolve. So Wii Video is an amazing online cloud-based editing solution. It's not like any of the other options we've got here. There's no need to download and install anything onto your computer. It literally just runs in your web browser, meaning it's a solid option for anyone who maybe doesn't have a really powerful computer. And because it's all run online, this makes it an amazing option for working collaboratively and working with remote editors or remote team. Now, this is also great if you're moving from computer to computer or between different devices, because you don't need to transfer and copy off all of your footage, it's all managed in the cloud. But one of the standout features for me is that you still don't need to have an amazing internet connection. Even if your internet connection isn't the fastest, you can actually start editing your videos down instantly while they're uploading in the background. And it's pretty crazy to see just how easy and just how fast it is to edit in here. Again, even if you're using 4K video footage. Now in terms of pricing, there's a few different options. But I'd say that most people are gonna be looking at the unlimited plan for $7.99 or to access the 4K capability Abilities and all their premium templates, then that's where you wanna look at the professional plan for $19.99 per month. Filmora is another great option that works on both Mac and PC. Again, it's got a really easy to use, really intuitive interface, making it easy for really anyone to jump in and to start editing. It packs in a lot more features and a lot more advanced tools and things than something like iMovie, but it's definitely not at the level of a DaVinci Resolve. But I was actually surprised at the level of control that you do get over things like color correction and color grading that you'd normally only see tools like that in more professional programs. And for something at this price point, that's pretty awesome. I'm also pretty impressed with the overall performance, not just the export times, which are ridiculously quick, but also the general editing and general timeline performance, just scrubbing through clips and everything, it all works seamless. Now in terms of pricing, we're not talking about the free one here. The free one has a watermark and I don't recommend it. I'm talking about the paid version here, which you can purchase for either around $52 a year, or you can buy it outright as a one-time purchase for just under $80. So if you're someone who is against the monthly subscription thing, then it's awesome that you can buy it outright. But Overall, to round out this category, if you are someone who does have a lower spec computer or you're someone who wants to edit in the cloud, then Wii Video is your choice hands down. If you're someone at that beginner to intermediate level, this is where VN Video Editor or Filmora could be the perfect options for you. And again, if you're someone who is looking for the most professional video editing software out there, the free version of DaVinci Resolve is going to be your pick in this category too. So to narrow this down and pick one winner from this shortlist, again, my top pick is is gonna to go to DaVinci Resolve. I feel like I'm just gonna say this a lot. It is ridiculous what they're giving you access to for free. Literally professional grade tools. So that brings us to category number three, where we include everything above $200. So essentially this is best video editing software on Mac if you're happy to spend 
upwards of $200, what are your options, including the sub $200 and free options as well. Now, typically what you would find in this $200 plus category is where you're unlocking a lot more of the professional video editing suites, where you're getting the most amount of performance, the most amount of control and tools and everything to really allow you to get fully creative and to dial in your edits and get super specific with what it is you're creating. And again, I say usually, but we've already seen DaVinci Resolve taking out the first two categories and it's free. So new ones in this category above $200, we've got things like HitFilm Pro, Camtasia, Final Cut Pro, DaVinci Resolve Studio, the paid version, Adobe Premiere Pro, Avid Media Composer, and Lightworks Pro. So from all of those, my shortlist in this category of really best video editing software on Mac comes down to WeVideo, VN Video Editor, Filmora, Final Cut Pro, Adobe Premiere Pro and DaVinci Resolve. So for the ones we haven't looked at yet, Final Cut Pro is an amazing option for video editing on Mac. It runs so well because Apple not only makes the software, it also makes the hardware too. And the two of them just work so well together. This is the one that we said is really iMovie on steroids or the big brother of iMovie. Now it's actually only a few years back that I totally dismissed this as a solid video editing option as well. I thought it was more of a toy or iMovie plus than professional grade software. And that was back when I was editing full time using Avid Media Composer. I really thought that Final Cut was a bit of a joke and nothing in comparison. So it did take me a little while to come around, but this is now one that I absolutely love. Some of the standout things for me, especially coming from Avid and from Premiere specifically, is that it crashes nowhere near as much as a lot of the other editing software. It is ridiculously fast, not just insane rendering times, which in some cases will just hit export and with the background rendering that's already happened, the file is literally just saving out instead of rendering, which is crazy but also in the timeline and the actual editing performance. It is amazing how much more fun it is to edit when you can do everything seamlessly and everything just flows and works as it should without needing to lower playback qualities or having everything glitch and buffer while you're editing. I also really like the timeline editing approach with the magnetic timeline where you can just pick up clips and everything stays in sync. Again, this is something that I didn't like at first coming from Avid, coming from Premiere because they don't do that. But this is something that once you start to use it and you see how powerful it actually is, you kind of miss it when you go back to the other programs. Now in terms of pricing, this one isn't a monthly subscription it is a one-time purchase of $299 US, which is awesome. So I've owned it for quite a few years now and I've not had to pay another cent and I'm still getting updates as they add more and more features. So another good one for those of you who don't like the subscription model. And Adobe Premiere Pro is another really popular option. Again, it packs in all the pro features and tools and things that you would expect. And it's another one where people use for literally top level video production projects. I really like the workflow in Premiere for working with teams and working with people remote where you you are sending big projects and things around. The Adobe Cloud makes that really, really simple. And I also really like the color grading tools and effects and things that you have in there. I would say that they are next level on what you get inside of Final Cut. But the overall timeline performance, and again, this is gonna come down to your computer and the files that you're using to edit. It's good, but after you use something like Final Cut, it is pretty hard to go back because you will miss how fluid and how fast everything is in comparison. Now, Adobe Premiere Pro does work on both PC and Mac, and all the project files and everything will work seamlessly between the two operating systems. But probably the biggest standout thing for me with Adobe Premiere Pro is how well it works with the rest of the Adobe tools, the rest of the Adobe suite. Things like Photoshop and After Effects. The integration between them all is awesome. You can literally drag and drop in an After Effects composition without needing to save it out, without needing to render it, and it will show up as if it's a regular video inside your Premiere timeline. And then if you need to make a change to it, you can literally open up After Effects directly from within Premiere. Premiere. So if you're someone who's already in the Adobe ecosystem and using some of their other programs as well, the integration here is awesome and will save you a ton of time. Now in terms of pricing, the only way you can access Adobe Premiere Pro is on a subscription. So you can grab just Premiere for $20.99 per month, or you can grab it as part of the Adobe Master Suite where you're getting access to everything for $52.99 a month. But overall in Premiere, while the performance and everything is really, really good, what I've found is that Final Cut is a lot more stable, doesn't crash as often, and the 
performance in Final Cut is really next level. So to round out the options in this shortlist, if you are someone who has a low spec computer or someone who wants to edit in the cloud just using your web browser, WeVideo is the best option for you. If you're someone who's a beginner through to that intermediate level, then Filmora or VN Video Editor are going to be my top two picks for you. And then if you are someone who's at that intermediate to advanced level, someone looking for all the advanced features, the controls, the level of customizability, and someone who really wants to dive into the nitty gritty of creativity and what you can do when you're editing, then you really can't go past Final Cut Pro, Adobe Premiere Pro, and DaVinci Resolve. And really at that point, if you're deciding between those three, it is gonna come down to your budget. But also, as I suggested earlier, I would strongly recommend grabbing the trial versions of each and having a play around to see which one works better for you, for your skill set, and for the videos that you're creating. Because while they all are tools to edit video down, they all tackle it with a slightly different approach and tool set. But for me personally, my number one pick is gonna to go to Final Cut. I really like how fast it is, how easy it is to use, and how well it works with Apple's hardware, and just how much more fun and easy it makes video editing. But again, comparing that to what you're getting access to inside of DaVinci Resolve is just crazy. It's amazing that they're giving you access to these pro-level tools for free. So it is one that I'm closely watching, and who knows, next year, I might be telling you that my number one pick is DaVinci Resolve. Now, earlier in the video, I said I'd share with you three video editing tips to help you edit faster faster in any video editing software. Tip number one is to focus on editing your content down first. Too many people jump straight into making the videos look pretty. They're adding color grades and effects and things on. All this does is slow down your computer or your device because then every time you play back through it, it's got to render and process all of that stuff. So focus on cutting your story down first and then make it look nice afterwards. Tip number two is to learn the keyboard shortcuts. This is something that's going to speed up your video editing dramatically. With any any video editing software, there's keys that you can press on the keyboard that are gonna save you three or four mouse clips or multiple steps in doing something. So to find out the keyboard shortcuts is normally under help in your editing application, or you can Google keyboard shortcuts and your video editing software name, and you'll be able to find the list. Some great ones to start off looking for would be your playback controls, which on most software is J, K, and L on the keyboard, but also look for ripple edit left, and ripple edit right, and you'll thank me when you see how fast they are. And tip number three is to not think that you need to create everything yourself. You don't need to go and learn Adobe After Effects to create all your own custom motion graphics. You don't need to go and film all your B-roll or overlay footage yourself. There's services like Storyblocks and Video Hive that have an amazing library of footage and motion graphics and animations that you can use in your videos, literally just drag and drop and to customize up as you need. This is gonna save you so much time and in a lot of cases, it's gonna give you a better outcome than you trying to create create something or go and film something yourself. Now those are just three tips from our full video editing process guide, the Primal Video Method, where we take you through step by step, the most efficient way to edit your videos down with minimal wasted time and rework, making the whole editing process much more fun and much easier. There's a link on screen now to grab your free copy of that guide, and don't forget we've got tutorials linked to a lot of these programs in the description box below. I'll see you in the next one.